What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be reviewing a very teeny notebook. The Midori, <laughs> I don't know how to say that, uh, Midori MD paper. Um, the Midori Diary MD paper used in this notebook was first developed in the 1960s as Midori Co's now Design Fill Ink, original diary paper, and has continuously gone through quality improvements until today. This paper is adapted for high writability. It prevents smearing or bleed through easily. Foreshadowing, uh, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> so this is uh, cream colored paper. I'm gonna read off the back. Cream colored paper, easy on the eyes while creating a beautiful contrast with black or blue ink. Crafted using traditional Japanese binding techniques and original methods, it opens easily for writing and is highly durable. I don't know. We'll get into that. Pages are blank without grids or lines. Fill them with your ideas or sketches and enjoy it the way you want. When the pages are full, a personalized one-of-a-kind book has been created. Let it sit on your bookshelf along with your favorite reads. Uh, so this is the A6 size blank, clearly. Um, this sort of sleeve on the outside here you could take off um, and it's literally just blank there's absolutely nothing there um, but for the sake of this I left it on just for this uh, review here so that I could actually read what was on it um, so that I don't forget what it is um, I like the color I like the creamness to it um, I'm not a fan actually of the binding Perhaps that will change when I'm further into the center of the book, but right now I'm still at the beginning um, and it's a little bit difficult to write on. Um, perhaps that's because it's just a small book. Um, so, you know, it, it's kind of cramped a little bit. I'm used to A5 sizes, so to come down to an A6 size uh, is different for me. I'm not really a fan of the size, but that's not a knock against the book um, because some people prefer A6 size. Um, I'm just not one of them. So that was a choice, obviously, for me to try out an A6. Um, but for those who, who like it, like I said, it's not a knock. It's just a personal preference. Um, for me, I do think <clears throat> that my voice just cracked a little bit. Um, I do think that the paper is really nice. I'm not 100% positive that it's Tomoe River paper, but I would not be surprised if it was because it does... Uh, feel like Tomoe River paper. Um, it has a lot of the same qualities. Um, I'm just looking real quick to see if I missed it in the info here at all, but it doesn't say specifically. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it is um, just based on my own usage with Tomoe River paper in the past. Um, the paper is definitely really smooth. Um, it lends well to shading. It's got an average dry time. It doesn't like absorb super quick or anything like that, um, but it does have <coughs> um, pretty good smear proofness, <laughs> um, even with fairly wet pens. Um, it is blank. I prefer lined paper. Um, so what I did was I actually cut up a piece of lined paper um, so that I could put it in behind um, and have a very vague outline of where to go. Um, just because I, like I said, I don't personally prefer blank. Again, that's not a dig against the paper. That's a positive for a lot of people. It's just my preference. Um, it feels very nice in the hand. The nib glides across this paper. It's really, really nice. Um, like I said, I'm not crazy about the binding just because it doesn't lie flat. Um, and I feel like I'm constantly fighting the paper to like stay down while I'm writing. But again, that it could just be because I'm in the beginning of the notebook um, and not, you know, farther into the middle. Uh, that said, I do have some notebooks uh, that lie perfectly flat, um, you know, even in the beginning of the notebook. So not super duper crazy about the binding. I don't know how well it'll hold up so far. It seems okay and it claims to be very well, um, you know, as a, like a notebook that will hold up, but that has yet to be seen. Um, what else did I, I write about? You're already probably seeing this, but <laughs> uh, holds up pretty well to everything. 
you do get some some show through on the other side of the paper much like you would with pretty much any Tomoe River paper um, again I'm assuming that this is or if it's not it's something very similar in in quality and feel not quite as thin as like 52 GSM Tomoe River paper um, but you will get see-through but you don't get bleed through um, so that's nice. It is a little susceptible to hand oils, um, just like a lot of notebooks are that have smooth um, finishes to it. Um, so again, not a super big dig to the, the notebook itself because a lot of notebooks have that, but something you should be aware of. Um, and yeah, I mean, overall, I, I like the, the paper quality. Um, I think it's super cute looking. Um, I wish I had got the A5 size. I thought I'd be a little bit different this time around and try the A6 um, because they, they're, they're, they're cute and little and you can fit them in your back pocket and take them wherever you go. Um, but I just, I don't like the size of it. Um, and that's a personal thing. Um, Cause I, I, like I said, I much prefer A5 sizes. Uh, but if I feel like I would like it a lot better if I got A5, I'll put it that way. Um, it's a little bit expensive. I'll put the, the price down at the bottom here. Um, but it is quality paper, um, you know, so I, I'm not mad at that. Um, it does give you, I'm trying to get to the middle here, a bookmark. It does give you a little bookmark here to use if you choose. I can't pick it up apparently. <laughs> um, it is just glued to the back of the book though. Um, so if you pull it too hard, you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> Um, but overall, yeah, I would recommend it. Um, definitely stick with the, the size that you would prefer. Like I said, if this was a lined A5 size, I think I would like it much better. Again, as I've been saying this whole review, that's my personal preference. Um, but I would actually recommend this uh, little little notebook here. It's pretty pretty awesome. But guys, that's quick and dirty for me. <laughs> Um, hit, hit the uh, like button if you like this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet done so already. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. I hope, I hope, I hope by the time this video goes live that the world is a much better place than what it is right now on the day of filming. Stay home guys, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.